What's up, Nerd for Jinsei here, and welcome to another hero overview. Last time I did some rare heroes, so this time I figure I'd do some legendaries. First, we're gonna start off with my man Dagus over here, and then we're gonna get into Pitbull. Alright, so let's get right into it, starting with Dagus's kit. First, we have his passive, which is Block. Afflicts all enemies with Provoke. If an ally takes damage and its health drops to 30% or less for 10 turns, and grants a heal over time to self that heals 20% of current attack for every uh, for every turn for five turns. All right, and gain one mana if your health is 20% or less when this is triggered. All right, this is a really strong passive, um, both in PvP and in PvE. Um, PvP, I can't count the number of times I've been screwed by this passive. Um, not to mention. Um, when this procs, right, and everybody's attacking him, it means he's gaining a lot of mana, so he'll be able to use any of his abilities, most likely the next turn that he that he takes. It's really strong. Alright, next we have Ages of Faith. Increase his own maximum HP by 39% for 8 turns, and shares health with all allies for 16 turns. Uh, really strong ability. Um, it increases the survivability not of, only of himself, but his allies as well, and it kind of acts like a pseudo heal. All right, so like say that his max HP is two is um, six thousand, and he's currently at two thousand HP. Then he uses his ability. His max HP goes up to seven thousand, and his current HP goes up to three thousand. Right to match that max HP, but then this effect wears off after eight turns. Right, and his max health goes back down to 6,000, but his current health will stay at 3,000. Right, obviously he wouldn't have the same 3,000 3, health because he'd most likely be getting attacked. But yeah, it, it basically can act as a pseudo heal for himself, which is really nice. And last we have uh, Cursed Trident. Uh, deals 142% damage to all enemies and afflicts Freeze, which is your typical CC. Um, it does last only five turns, which isn't the greatest, um, because there's a chance that it'll wear off before the enemies take their turn. However, it is an AoE CC. Really nice. It costs five mana, which is a lot, but, you know, whatever. Um, Exos Heroes has a lot of, like, frontliners, or, like, tank, quote-unquote, tank units that don't really provide a lot of utility. Um, which I don't really like. I, I much prefer uh, a, a tank or a frontliner to have a lot of utility to increase the survivability of your team. And Degas has that in spades, which is why I love him so much. Plus, his character design is just freaking awesome. All right. So next, I'm just going to show you the gear that I have on him right quick, right? It's just all legendary plus 30. It's nothing special, right? So if we take a look at his stats... Low attack, but that doesn't matter because... Well, it only really matters because um, the heal on Provoke is based on his attack, right? So the heal over time isn't the, the strongest. But he's a tank, right? He's not... You don't really care if he does a lot of damage or not. Um, but he does have 4,700 HP, which is a nice amount. And then think about how much that'll be when you use... Um, what was it? Ages of Faith... Um, and then, if you'll see here, 1966 defense. That is that is a lot of defense. Uh, especially for the gear that he has on now. Uh, a good comparison would be my Redley over here. right? He only has 1788 defense. Granted, he is a damage dealer. But, if you'll take a look at his gear, right? he's got two legendary pieces that are plus 60 and plus 50 boots. right? Because the bottom row is all the defensive stat gear. Right, so compare that to what he's got, and he's got so much defense. I love it. Anyway, that's it for Degas. Moving on to Pitbull. Alright, so Pitbull's kit. First we have Thrust. Upon taking damage, deals damage of 30%, and afflicts stun to the attacker for 5 turns when hit. Um, gain one mana if health of target is 80% or more. Um, thrust, I really like to use um, 
or I shouldn't say I really like to use because it's a passive, I don't actually use it. Um, but I think it's a really strong passive in PvE. Um, I use Pitbull basically for all of my fire dungeons, uh, the special dungeons. Um, and coming this Tuesday, I'm going to be making a video of fire special dungeons so you'll get to see them in action. Anyway, um, thrust is really nice if you attack an enemy that has counter, right? You attack them, they counter, and you gain one mana from the counter, and then you thrust back, and if they still have 80% or more HP, uh, you gain another mana, and you break them. Because all of the, um, all of the, like, the fodder units in special dungeons have two guardian stones, so if you attack them, they counter back, you hit them with thrust, you break both their stones, they're broken in one attack, basically, or in one turn. All right, really nice. Next, we have Burst Break. This is really nice, once again, um, for PvE, for special dungeons. It only costs one mana and deals 96% damage to all back row enemies. Um, obviously, if it was a full AoE, that would be nicer, but um, there's always at least um, two enemies in the back row, so it's a good way to uh, get your... Um, get some units broken faster all right it only costs one mana which is really nice next we have explosive swing this costs three mana deals 210 percent damage to one enemy and afflicts confuse to the target for five turns confuse just like freeze they're basically the same thing it's just a cc right um now this is really strong in special dungeons for the boss all right, say you're fighting the boss and you can't break him in time, um, right? Like you only uh, you can only attack him twice before his turn. Or say you broke him and then he gets revived. He comes off break and then you can't break him again before his turn. I just use this, um, CC him, and he doesn't get to do anything that turn. All right, um, that's what I use him for. So, so Pitbull, like Degas is strong in PvP and PvE. Um, and I said like you can use them in um, what's it called? Use them like Dragon Holy Grounds because he has that share health for all allies. Um, he's strong in a lot of places, whereas Pitbull, he really is just at least in my mind for the Fire Day special dungeons. And I use him for PvP, not much use. Um, other places, not much use, but um, definitely strong for these special dungeons. All right, so that's it. That's the whole... Actually, I forgot to go over his, um, his stats. Unfortunately, he's only level 70, but that's okay, because level 75 is just the um, accessory, which is offensive stats, and we don't really care too much about offensive stats, because he's also a tank. So I'll just slap this gear on him real quick, and we'll take a look at his stats. Alright, he's got 4,500 HP, 1,300 defense. So, like, when you compare him to Degas, right? Like, Degas had... 600 plus more defense and more HP. Um, so he's not the tankiest. Um, but that's fine. Right? Like, Degas has a provoke. An AoE provoke on his passive. Um, he's definitely going to be taking more hits. Whereas, I use Pitbull more for CCing the boss. And for breaking units faster. With both his thrust and his um, skill 2. Alright? Anyway. That's it for this video. I'm out. Peace.